Hi, my name is Jesse, and today we'll be covering notification preferences in Nagios XI. The first thing that I want you to notice is that I'm logged in as the Nagios admin user. That's indicated by this little user icon, and then your username comes after the icon. So Nagios admin, you can see me kind of dragging it around up here. Uh, to configure your notification preferences, click on Nagios admin or whatever your username is. We'll be brought to the account information page, which lists a bunch of account specific information like your name and your email and your API key, etc. This information is all uh, specific to your user account. What we're concerned about is notification preferences. So go to notification preferences and note that these are all notifications, again, specific to your one user. This will not impact anyone else on the system. So the first thing that is notable is the enable notifications radio button. This globally disables or enables notifications on your account. So if you just didn't want notifications for a while, you could untick this box, press update settings, and you would be good to go. But of course, that doesn't fill everybody's needs. Some people want more granular control over their notifications. So we've built in that granular control. Here we have host and service notification types. So you can see host and service, and there are a myriad of different types of notifications that you can enable and disable. Let's just say that I don't want host recovery events, and I don't want host flapping events anymore. And same with services, no flapping or recovery events from services as well. But for instance, I, re I really care about acknowledgments for whatever reason, so I'm going to make those high priority. This sends the high priority flag with the email, and as long as your email client supports that, they will show up in your inbox as high priority events. Now that's pretty straightforward. Next we have mobile texting, and this is if you have SMS already set up in Nagios XI and you're receiving text alerts and you want some granular control over what you receive via text. Um, for me, texting is more of a, a critical in nature. I don't want to see any recovery events, I don't want to see any flapping events, but I do want to know if a host goes down, I do want to know if a service goes critical. Those are the two things that I want to receive over text. Everything else can be sent to my Nagios XI email you know, filter. So, that being said, pretty straightforward. This is the exact same uh, list of events as we have in email. So we have covered email, we have covered mobile texting, and the last thing to cover in terms of notification preferences is time periods. Now these are the time periods during which you will receive notifications. So currently I'm receiving notifications 24-7, 365, just all day, every day. And I don't want it to be like that. I have weekends off, for instance, I'm not on call, so I don't want to receive notifications on Sunday, and I don't want to receive notifications on Saturday. So effectively, we've just turned these notifications off, and on Wednesday, let's just say that I only want to receive notifications for half of Wednesday. You know, you can set this up however you want to. Uh, typically, people leave it at 24 hours overall, or they set up notifications during business hours. So that would look something like 9, and let's say you work through 5, so that would be 1700. So 9 to 5, and you could just make that Monday through Friday if you'd like. After all of your changes are said and done, you can just press the Update Settings button, and you'll note that your notification preferences have been updated. If you have any questions about configuring notification preferences in Nagios XI, please feel free to reach out to us at the support forum. It's at support.nagios.com forum. Otherwise, check out our related content at the YouTube channel. Thanks.